Hello everyone, Nubkex here. Welcome back to Nubraids. And today we've got uh, several big pieces of news actually to kick off the week. And I think, depending on how quick it takes us to get through the news, I'll probably also roll up a bunch of gear for this deck of fate, which we're going to be talking about as well. But look, let's dive into it. Let's talk about the summons first, then we'll, we'll go to deck of fate after. Actually, the first thing, even before we go to summons, there is a soulstone rush on right now as well with a bunch of rewards in there. Again, I personally do not recommend doing these soulstone rushes unless you are a big spender. I personally would much, much, much rather be saving my soulstones for guaranteed champion events or hero path events to get guaranteed champion souls. I think that gives you much more value, frankly. So yeah, that to me is like a spender only type event or if you're really into it, but I, I don't think it's particularly optimal. Now, coming over here, a random Monday summon event. This is also something which is typically not very optimal, but we do have good champions in there. Let's go to the voids. First of all, we have a progressive chance event for Yumiko. Yumiko is amazing. If you are really close to Mercy, definitely you can go for this. That being said, there are regularly, regularly legendaries cropping up in these progressive chances that are worth, you know, pulling for if you're very close to Mercy, by which I mean, like, you know, if I'm like 20 or 30 void shards away from getting a legendary, yeah, sure, why not roll for the Yumiko? But if it was even 30 is quite a lot. Like, if it's more than 20, 25, you know, you can wait. You can wait, realistically. But there you go. I actually pulled 10 shards just for the champ thing for some points over the week and got nothing. So I'm slightly below 100 void shards. We're going to keep saving for the next guaranteed, which is more guaranteed value. We like the guaranteed value. For the ancients, primals, and sacreds, they all have it. Um, you got these four champions, Michinaki, Lady Kimi, Jintoro, and Genzin. Uh, Jintoro is great for clan boss. I actually use him for my clan boss team, but he's a luxury. He's really not necessary. I mean, you could even use Fane, and obviously you'd need better gear because Fane's not as good, but you know what I mean? I feel like he's more of a luxury. He does have a full term meter steel as well, which makes him quite nice for things like Dark Fey progression and stuff like that, but he's not essential. He's a fun champ, but not essential. Um, Genzin is pretty good, actually, for YST. <laughs> Genzin is pretty good for, um... Fire Knight hard, especially with uh, with Lady Mikage, because he's got the triple hit A1, AoE decreased defense. He's solid, but again, I would say he's more of a luxury champion. You know, I would I would pull him you know, from a shard and be really happy to get him, but I probably wouldn't chase him in a progressive chance. Now, Kimi and Michinaki are the better two for sure. Uh, Kimi is a decent Hydra champion and just a, a really strong speed and turn meter manipulator in general. So she is solid for that. She's a, a decent champ. And then Michinaki, he is, again, really good, mostly for Hydra. Um, all right. You know what? I need to revisit Michinaki for Arena. I do. Because, like, I've seen you guys in my Discord. You guys have crazy damage bills on Michinaki. And that sort of reaches the point where you're like, he has such good damage gear on him on a lot of people's accounts. Uh, that it's like he's probably pretty good for arena at that point. He's got short cooldown AoEs, and like I see people with him with like seven to eight k attack and over three hundred percent crit damage and like two fifty speed and accuracy. Like the guy's absolutely pimping. Uh, he's probably really good for arena at that point, which is funny. But yeah, out of all of these, I'd probably recommend Michinaki as being the biggest difference maker for Hydra. He's just really solid. Uh, or maybe Kimmy as well. Um, I obviously, for me personally, I have a Jintoro and a Michinaki. I'd actually like both Genzin and Kimi, but uh, again, it's just a random progressive chance. I wouldn't uh, bother chasing it. Pers again, I'd rather, rather save up for, you know, double legendaries, guaranteed stuff that's going to give you, you know, uh, a more surefire shot at being useful. Uh, so that's the summoning stuff. Now, it's Deck of Fate time. So we have the Explorer Deck of Fate. I think this one is going to be somewhat controversial. So we've got, what, five down, and it should be eight across. Yeah, eight across, five eights, 40, 40,000 points to flip everything, 40,000. I say these are controversial because I actually love this type of event. Love it. I think it's amazing. But actually, funny enough, from a lot of the comments and talking to other people, there's lots of people that don't like. Maybe controversial is the wrong word. You know, implies there's a lot of drama. 
I just think that these are like, some people love them, some people hate them. I guess they're not that controversial or divisive. It's just like, if you don't like it, you don't like it. If you do, you do. Personally, I think they're fantastic events. Really good. We've got 15 commons, 15 rares, 10 epics. What is nice about this, this is Slayer set. I, again, I have to say, knowing that for... You know, again, it's not that controversial. It's not a big drama thing, but per I love these events. Like, I genuinely think these events are freaking amazing. This is giving a formerly pay-to-win set. Pay-to-win. Forge Pass. You basically have to spend money to get this. This is giving this available for free-to-play players, right? Just by saving up silver in the game and being prepared and, and managing re your resources, right? You can do this event. That's fantastic. <laughs> like, seriously, that is so, this is exactly the kind of event that should be in the game. Pay to win sets from the Forge Pass coming in to these events so everyone can get them. Everyone can get some. It's great. I think it's great. I also think it's really fun. This is basically what we have to do for this one. You have to either get artifacts or accessories. So dungeon divers, this will be the smaller part of it. Um, but there is uh, going to be... There is a dragon tournament uh, coming up, which is, I don't know what it's a, I think it is a 2x drop thing, but I can't remember what it is. Someone can let us know in the comments. That starts on Wednesday. It's a bit away, but you have that overlapping. Other than that, in terms of dungeon divers, there's not much on. Like if you still need to do your spider tournament, if you're doing that, that will overlap with the deck of fate. But um, yeah, for me, like I may or may not do the dragon tournament. It looks like there'll be about one day overlap of a champion training tournament as well. But I don't know if I'm going to, I'll probably do a small bit of these, maybe. Um, but I will probably be doing, and you will, will be getting most of your points through artifact enhancement. And that's what we're going to probably do some of today as well, at least to flip some of it. But for me, I am probably going to max this one out. I think it's fun. There's stuff if you match, but this is really not guaranteed at all. That's just lucky. This stuff that you are guaranteed to get, it's great. Mythical ring, necklace, and... Oh, it's actually... They are specific factions, actually. That's really interesting. Orc for the ring. Shadowkin amulet. That's actually really strong. Um, I'd say there's a lot of Shadowkins that are good damage. And Skinwalker banner. Again, who, know, who the heck knows what main stat this will be, but you've got skinwalkers that like accuracy like you know uko even uh wukong etc you've got skinwalkers that like damage like wukong or razzlevarg skinwalker uh banner's really strong and then you're gonna get three mythical pieces weapon head and shield you're gonna get some legendaries you're also gonna get again another legendary shadowkin banner orc banner sacred order amulet banner lord amulet okay you know you're gonna get a few other bits and then even some epics this is this is solid for me. I think it's good. Five chaos dust is nice. Void, legendary. Sadly, there are web points in there. So if you need the web points, you kind of are forced to do this. But I think most people seem to be skipping the the, the web event anyway, or not really caring too much. But yeah, for me, I'm gonna do this. I think it's fantastic. Right, Slayer set is really really strong, and even having just one or two off pieces can make a big difference. Like having a ring that gives five percent crit rate is pretty awesome. So I think this is a great event. Obviously, it's not essential. It is gear. Um, so this is, you know, it, I guess that's the thing. It's more skippable. But I think this is a fantastic type of event to have in the game. I think it's wonderful. And I'd love to see more like that in the future. You know, two thumbs up for me. Fantastic. Now, uh, before I pull or roll up some gear for this, haha. Here we go. Just to mention, because we were looking at the event tab. Let me actually make this full screen. We were looking at the event tab on Plarium Play, okay? This is the Adventure Deck of Fate right here. This is Monday going through to the weekend. Uh, obviously, we talked about overlaps to the Adventure Deck of Fate. There's not too much else going on here. I believe Friday is when the uh, Raid Community Awards is, is actually live. So stay tuned for that. I co-hosted it. Um, and yeah, it's going to be, I hope, pretty fun. <laughs> we shall see. Uh, I hope it's going to be a fun little show. Um, I think it's supposed to be pretty short. That's the goal, I think, was to be very short, snappy. Um, I'll, I'll be doing a whole behind the scenes thing, but you know, I, I was chatting to one of the guys that was like one of the writers for it, right? And he was like designing like the, the skits and stuff. And he was like, listen, not, we're not writing Shakespeare. We just want it to be, you know, short, snappy, and, and hopefully people will enjoy it and have a bit of fun. That's the goal. It's just supposed to be a bit of fun and, and give a bunch of awards to, to content creators 
and stuff like that. And I think some community members and stuff as well. I won't spoil anything, but yeah, I, th I think it's just going to be a fun little event. So that's on, I think, the Friday. So looking forward to that. What is interesting here, aha, aha, no info on this yet, as, as far as I know, but there is a Heroes Path event. The Heroes Path event, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I think this is pretty expected at this point as well. Ending these Titan events, there tends to be a Heroes Path event replacing the traditional summon events. So we will see what's involved in this. There could be nothing. It could just be web points. I mean, there's probably going to be skill tomes and stuff like that. There could be a soul in here. There could be a champion. Who the heck knows? There could be anything. There could be nothing. This is something to stay tuned for for later in the week. Uh, if you need web points, there's probably going to be a big chunk of web points. If not, I mean, we'll see if there's any anything in there. Who knows? And uh, then, yeah, I think the week after that is when we'd expect the uh, the fusion to start Vaultkeeper Wixwell, uh, who will have his full reveal, even though we know everything already on Friday, right? <laughs> like, we know what his skills are. It's all the defense ones, but I guess that's officially confirmed on Friday, which is uh, funny. Uh, but hey, there we are. They're, they probably shouldn't have given away, like, what people were voting for, because it was pretty obvious, you know? If I maybe it would have been more interesting to actually see the results at the end. Um, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> but there you go. Right. Uh, you know, I, I'm gonna, let's, let me pause this. I'll roll up some gear, and then let's flip a few cards. I don't know. We'll, I'll just roll up some gear and we'll see where we end up at. Okay, we're back. Uh, I should have done a before and after. So I spent a few million silver for sure. Uh, I haven't sold any gear yet, but we got 8,000 points. Just rolling up um, some of the, the Merciless, Lethal. Uh, I did some protection, that sort of stuff. Like some of the, the newer sets. We've got eight flips. So let's do eight flips. See what we get. Got ourselves a banner. Got ourselves a weapon. Got ourselves a ring. Can we get three blues? No, there's a void chart early on. That's nice. Got ourselves that. Mythical helmet. That's nice. Three purples? Three purples? No, it's a blue. Okay. Well, there we go. Cool. So we got some stuff out of it. Not too bad. Let's take a look at new. Filter new. Uh, we've got some junk. So we're looking for Slayer. We got ourselves. Move me. Got ourselves. That's a beautiful weapon. Crit rate, damage, and attack. See this? Oh, that's a beautiful helmet. S mythical speed, crit rate, crit damage, and a really shitty shield. We could. That's so. Let's actually roll this up right now. This is one thing that's nice: is flipping the cards as you go. Um, I'm gonna be aggressive with this because it's Slayer. Do we re? I don't know if that's worth a rework. Actually, it's not great. It's not great. We're looking for like a triple roll into something, preferably. Uh, you know, this is. But it's a 12. Like, if it all goes flat defense, one roll in flat defense is fine. Uh, two rolls would be sad. Oh, two rolls, it's sad. That's still good, though. 16 speed, 12 crit rate, crit damage. It's still decent. It's still decent. Not god tier, though. Let's just put this... I'm rolling them up to 16. Let's be real. Uh, two attack percent, one flat attack sucks, but double attack percent, crit rate, crit damage. That's really solid. No speed, but it's still really good. Not bad. Not bad. There we go. I will take it. Let's see what we have over here. Oh, Lord. I've got a lot of stuff to sort out, eh? Uh, I think the sh Shadowkin one might be new. If only we could filter for the set. This might be new. Maybe. Shadowkin was an option. Let's roll it up. Rolled really badly, sadly. That, that one sucks. Might hold, might hold on to it. I don't know. Pretty garbage. Pretty garbage, but... Yeah, not sure. Sacred Order. Do we get that ring from this? This might be from an old pass. I haven't bought the current Forge Pass. I don't think the Forge Pass even is Slayer. This might be from the last one which I bought. So, yeah, actually, this might be... You guys might need to check back. Yeah, like, we hardly got all of these. Did we? No, I don't think so. I don't even know what this was. An attack thing? That's kind of That kind of sucks. In fact, we would want to rework that straight away. Crit damage? HP? Some crit dam? Okay, that's not, not great. Not great, that one. Yeah, some of this stuff is definitely... Uh, not sure. Maybe, maybe those were the three we just pulled. I don't know. Ogren Tribes. Oh, let's roll this because it's actually has potential. Triple roll, rework into speed. Double defense. Rework that into double speed, please. Resist. HP. Double flat defense. Oh, oh it hurts. <laughs> it hurts so much. Oh, gear and raid shell. Just, you know what? I probably should have kept it. Oh, well, it's gone. Probably should have kept it for the nine piece. Oh, well. We got one more flip for good luck. What do we get? 
it, mythic, a mythic banner, a mythic banner. And then maybe we've got one more flip after this. We just got a freaking mythic. Uh, rank and rarity. Got a mythic. Got several mythic pieces here. Look at this. Is this one? Ooh, that's juicy. Put it to 16. We're going to roll everything into attack percent and speed. And Sun Wukong is going to crap his pants. Well, we rolled everything into attack, really. Double flat attack. Still not bad. That's still decent. That is still decent for the banner, just for the set bonus. Like, can you think that's giving you like 5% crit rate as well? Yeah, it's not bad. Like, sort of, you take away one of those flat rolls and imagine it's actually pretty good then. So, if you think about it, it only has the one base speed, but we basically have one roll in flat attack. Well, let's say we got the two rolls in flat attack. Then we've got like one roll in crit rate. We've got mythical. So like two rolls basically in attack percent. One roll. Hit. It's actually pretty solid. That's not bad for skinwalkers. So not, as you can see, like that's sort of the standard of gear you're going to get. You might get really lucky and get a god piece. You might get unlucky and get nothing. And as you roll this stuff up to check if it's good or not, this is something I really like in terms of the gameplay. Like I get nice gear. I roll it up. I flip more cards. I... I enjoy it. It's a nice synergistic event. These are one of my favorites. I, I love pay to win sets being accessible. There you go. That is uh, this. I will max this one out. It'll just you know, take me some time. I'm probably not going to do much Dungeon Divers. I'm probably just going to be grinding Minotaur and you know, Sand Devil, Shogun, that sort of stuff. Um, I don't think I'm going to be doing much Dungeons for the next while, but we'll see. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about all of these events. Which ones are you going to do? And uh, yeah, I'll see you all next time. Bye.